What's new to the channel? I'm Stock Mo, an old financial advisor and educator. Used to do college level, high school level classes, finance, all that good stuff. Now I do this YouTube thing. All I ever ask, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join us on this journey to financial freedom. We're going to do everything it takes to get there. Now, we got some good things going on out there. And of course, I want to make sure we hit on all that. And we're going to start right away with the portfolio. We're going to get into this. Take a look at what's going on. The VOO, if you haven't seen it, 2.46. That is the S&P 500 dollar cost averaging $100 in every week. And, of course, if, uh, we have the conservative 0.44%. Got to add in some dividends there. That'll push that higher, but we're doing all right there. The aggressive 0.92. And of course, the YouTube crypto, we know what we call this, the Talladega Nights crypto portfolio. If you're not last, if you're not first, you're last. And we know that this will either be first or last. And right now it is rolling up 20% dollar cost averaging into it. Now, if we would have bought all the Ethereum on day one, we'd still be down 6%. But dollar cost averaging, we're up 20.56%. We're doing well. So no complaints there. And that's what I was talking about. Now, the other thing I wanted to make sure, if you haven't seen it, Right now, you get Gemini. They have a new promotion. You get $20 in free Bitcoin when you start trading $20 or $100 or more using my link. It looks like they just came up with something new. I'm going to reach out, but it looks like sign up and you get an, it looks like an additional $7 in Ethereum. And I believe all together, you can get $27 all together. That is fantastic because Ethereum is where it's at. But they got Sandbox over there, which they do not have at Coinbase, Robinhood, or Weeble yet. Once they add it and you can buy it there, then I expect to see it probably double from where it's at now. And for those who don't know what Sandbox is, check this thing. Today alone, 5.6% up. Over the last week, 7.86. Over the last month, you're up 10%. Last year, you made 1,000%. This is my metaverse play for 2022. I still believe it's going to do very, very well. And I'm bullish on that. So take advantage of that you, the fact that you can get this over Gemini before it blows up. The other thing, make sure you do the moo moo. <clears throat> get it up to five free stocks. Get this over a possibility of over $15,000 in free stocks. If the random number generator is on your side, take advantage of this. You got to hit certain deposit levels to get all five, of course. Now, as we look at the market yesterday, what was happening? Well, it's Saturday and we know I'm going to do a video later on crypto. We're going to see which cryptos outperform this week and a lot of other stuff. But I thought we'd start out today taking a look at the overall markets, you can see the Dow Jones, S&P 500, NASDAQ, and Russell all green. VIX dropping big time. So these are signs that we're looking for. And at the end of the week, of course, just to take a look, just to remind people, even though it seems like it was a horrible week last week, we we're only down 0.15% for the S&P. And if we go into the NASDAQ, go five days, only down 0.14. And the Dow Jones, over the last five days, we actually made money. And depending on which one you're in, <clears throat> depends on how you did. Now, the Russell was actually up almost a full percent. And so a lot of people thought last week was not good. I heard some complaining. It actually wasn't bad, especially if you look at the last month. Uh, the Russell barely up. But check out the NASDAQ, 3.7. The S&P 500, 3.63. And the Dow up 2.73. Not bad over the last month. So I'll take that. The VIX continues to drop. Some of the prices of oil continues to drop. And we're seeing good things. Now, as we move into Ethereum, just broke 3,500 at the time of me recording this. Big time opportunities with Ethereum. And I'll say it again for those who haven't been following me, but just take a look at this. The last five days, 5.36. The last month, 19.16. The last six months, that's where we had the drop down. Remember, we bought into it and now it's coming back up. And if you actually go to the low we had in March, all the way up to now we're in April, this thing's up 41%. I don't think it's going to slow down. And I think we're going to see more gain. If we actually compare this to Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin's rolling up too. But look, five days down, one month, barely up 6.82. If we go to the one month for Ethereum, we're up almost 20%. Uh, so I, I like where we're going with Ethereum. I think there's going to be a lot of potential here. The big thing for me for Ethereum, remember this. And I want to get into this again because people always ask me, what's your best, uh, what's your best investment? Where are you trying to make the most money? Where's your safest investment? Where's your most risky investment? You know, what's in the middle? I got to tell you, crypto, as we know, is probably the most volatile asset class to get out there and invest in. Crypto is going to be something that can go up 50%. Remember, we are in the 4,000s. And let's pull up a chart just because I want everybody to see the last year. Because even though we're making 
a lot of money off crypto. Those who've been following me over at the Patreon, if you have not come over to the Patreon, it's a brand new month I'm putting in. I'm probably going to invest over $100,000 worth of new stocks this month. And if you'd like to follow along with them, see my portfolios, everything I'm doing, this is your chance to come over. We have a private Discord with thousands of members as well. We are trying to get to that financial freedom we're all striving for. So it's a good opportunity. Now, when you look at Ethereum right here, look at this. We ran up down here. I remember this too, because I was doing videos. I was still buying. It was down at 1700. People were, you know, why are you talking about Ethereum? It's junk. Why would you buy Ethereum? And, that, and it's funny because once it crashed down from here, let's just take a look at this crash first. And this is the one I'm talking about because it got all the way down there. 56% drop. It dropped big time. And once it got down there, everybody was, you know, all the trolls come out. And uh, of course, at that point, you know, I'm doubling down. I'm feeling good about it. I know long term that Ethereum is going to change the game. I know the merge is going to happen. Uh, the consensus layer, we got good things going on with that. We know we're going to work our way back up and we're going to hit new highs. There's no doubt in my mind we'll hit new highs before 2025. Uh, and so as we get here, 1700, and then we have the run up and we have this up 121%. People who were following me at the Patreon were loving it. We did the right thing. We dollar cost averaged into it and we got back to that level. But then we had the drop down. And once we got back down about 27, 30%, it was tough but we kept buying. And then we hit the big run. And when you get this big run here, this is the one you wait for. This is where we get the new highs. We're up to, if you go that back down to here where people were buying, look at how much we're up here. This was the fun, 169% up. And this is only a couple of months. That's what I'm talking about crypto, but don't get too excited. COVID ain't going to let up. We know there's going to be wars. There's going to be all kinds of stuff going on. Where do we end up? We're down another 50%. And after you get down that 50%, the question becomes, how much far, farther out down are we going to go? Well, now we know that crypto is on the roll again, especially Ethereum. And now it's back up about 40% off those lows. Where do I see Ethereum going at this point? I see it going higher. I see good things happening. Once we get to that consensus layer and we have Ethereum, the merge, we're going to get to the point. The proof of stake is where it's at. The age of staking is becoming bigger and bigger. I think Ethereum is going to promote that. And I think Bitcoin's going to be looking to do the same thing down the road, maybe within five years. I think the issue of energy usage is going to become bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's going to be an issue that governments try to actually punish crypto companies around the world. I think you're going to start seeing regulations on energy usage and things like that. And that'll force the hand of some of these cryptos to move into proof of stake models. And so that's where I think it is. Now, rewards for Ethereum. Just remember. We're talking about the gains here with Ethereum. The regular price appreciation has been awesome. But how about we go ahead and put in a 7 to 12% reward for staking your crypto? So you stake your Ethereum, plus you get that money from the price going higher. I like that. And then, of course, on top of that, you have the deflationary pressures of the new. Once we get through the, we get to the consensus layer, we get that merge, we're going to have that become instantly deflationary, where we're talking. I think it's going to be around 2% deflationary annually. So we'll have 2% less Ethereum every year. And then some people are calling for up to 5% deflationary. If it's up there close to 5%, this, this price is going to go through the roof, in my opinion. We just don't know where it's going to go, how, uh, how much deflation we're going to have on it and everything else. So I'm pretty excited about that. Now, there are some other news out there. And I'm pulling it up on the chart here as we speak. And I'm getting used to my new technology here, which I absolutely love. So here you go. And the article says Alibaba, Neo, DD, other Chinese stocks soar. Critical headwind may be easing. And I'm going to pull this up for you to see. And this is it right here. Uh, let's get this over here. Uh, you can see that pulling it up here. The Chinese Securities Regulatory Commission and other regulators are drafting a new framework that will allow most Chinese companies to keep their U.S. listings. And this is from Bloomberg. Of course, Beijing is set to give U.S. regulators uh, the auditing reports of most of the 200 plus Chinese companies listed in New York, the report said, but was repair preparing to accept that some state owned firms will be the list. That is something we're going to check out. We're going to see. Who is going to be the firms that actually get delisted? And that's the fear. I think some some of the stocks out there, we don't know which ones are going to be. Now, personally, I don't think NEO is going to be one of those. But as we take a look at NEO stock, you can see it had a nice 
uh, run up after that article's out. Kind of came off. The whole market was kind of volatile. But overall, it was a 4% for the day. Nice little pop in the after hours as well. So is that the only one that's getting that love? Absolutely not. Let's look at Alibaba. Alibaba is another one of the best growth stocks to buy now for April, as well as NEO is one of the best growth stocks to buy now for April. I think the NEO stock prediction, somebody asked me where, I think this thing should be already up 50, 60 right now under the pressure, everything else. But we could see this, especially in the 20s, rolling back up there closer to 40 by the end of this year which would be a big jump. It'd be like an 80% jump this year. And I always say, if you can get 25% on a growth stock annually, that's a good stock. That's a good company. So I'm, I'm hoping for a lot of good stuff here. But Alibaba and of course, JD.com is another one. Uh, you can take a look at the five day for this one. Uh, it's down over the last month, only a 4.53. We go in and look at Neo over the last month at 0.73 of 7.42. So they're all doing their thing. If we actually look at some of the, uh, some of the, we'll say the analysts on Wall Street's predictions, 135% upside potential for Neo. They got Alibaba at 64% upside potential. So I, I like some of these plays. I get it. The risk is there. And other people ask me, what are some of the best growth stocks to buy now for April 2022? I like DraftKings. I think DraftKings gives us the best chance in the the gambling industry, especially if California okays the gambling in November, that's something to look forward to. I think that'll get more of a run up once we get closer to November. But if, uh, if stocks like this go up, they could have a good run. My penny stock, best penny stock to buy now, play of the day, we'll call this. And I talked about this one before, ABML. Remember, with the government coming out, starting support mining, getting lithium and some of that stuff, that's a play that has been doing very well lately and could continue to do well. And so we're looking at a couple different growth stocks. The penny stocks are always dangerous. That, that thing was down. I still love it, but it's definitely a young company that has a lot of potential. And uh, so that's some of the stocks I'm looking at right now. It is the weekend. I hope you are got some plans out there. I'm going to go out and celebrate my new tooth from the dentist. I uh, had a root canal go bad, had to get an implant. It took me like four months to get there. It's time to go out and chew on a steak and enjoy the weekend. You know, we work hard all week. We deserve to spoil ourselves a little bit and have a good meal. And that's how I feel about it, at least. Um, I, I always think to myself, how many shares of Tesla? How many shares of Neo? How many shares of SoFi am I giving up to go out and eat? But sometimes I have to get out there and have a little bit of fun. Now, if you haven't done it, like I said, take advantage of the Moo Moo link down there. You can get over $15,000 worth of free stocks if the random number generator is on your side and hit those deposit levels. And of course, the Gemini, that was the big one. Remember, $20 in free Bitcoin. It looks like they're giving $7 in free Ethereum on top of that. This is a win-win. Make sure you trade at least $100 or more to take advantage of the $20 in free through my link. And of course, um, the Patreon. Brand new month, I'm gonna be buying a ton. I'm talking a lot of money's worth of stocks. I'm setting up my retirement account. This goes into my retirement account. So I'm not messing around with this, but I will share that with everyone uh, as I do share my trades over there at the Patreon. And we got that private discord. Come on over and join us. It's a good place to go. I appreciate you stopping by. Now let's get out there and make some money.